actual active shoe like this has been taken to the max in terms of embellishment, in terms of mood enhancement. Well, you got to see, these jewels are just sparkly and gorgeous. This has got also what I like to call a pillow top mattress on the inside. Like little, little oh, cushy, right? It, cushy, cushy. It's cushy, like you can, you Excuse can. Me, look how. I took, the, cute I took, so I took cute. the laces out, yeah. Oh, of course you did, that yeah, is so I cute. It, I can't I even stand it, they're so adorable. Urban, but these, uh, you <laughs> want to put a little sparkle in your life and you don't want to break the bank and you want to do it with ultimate comfort, you got to do it this And that, way. I'm telling you, is the cool hip girl look. Like if you ever wanted to get a really tennis shoe that everyone would wear and we'll talk about, grab that one. All right, now we're gonna move on to another item. This is brand new. We're launching it in the show today. It's from the Lux Sports Collection and you did a legging. Well, you know what, to me, uh, and, and I'm sure for you too, like your mom, whose kid is in college, mm -hmm. you go up, you visit, you do those college games. You must see between the college student, the female college students and the moms, there's two bottoms that they wear, a jean or a legging. You're right. Absolutely. A legging has become as necessary and as much of the part of the language of fashion in America and actually the world as a jean. And so why so wouldn't we want to do it? If only we did it in a really artisanal way these we are did it with fabulous. print aren't they and you know what i had oh asked gosh. if we could get any of our jean jackets in indigo or chambray here because one of my favorite so ways to wear these is with one of those simple t-shirts we just showed you this legging one of the tennis shoes and a jean jacket so think of a legging worn that way as well. Cute. Absolutely wait show perfect. the colors that's called splatter splatter gray splatter. that one is blue floral Look at that one. Pink floral. Pink floral. So cute. And then, of course, we've Solid got the navy. two stripes. The navy and gray, the gray and white. Oh, and I just want, I'm just going to kind of hand these yes. to you and just show you one thing. How cute is it to take <laughs> the white and gray t-shirt and put it over the stripe? I've worn this on air for three hours this morning. Why? Because these stripes do not make you look broad. This is done on a heather ground. In the case of the navy, it's done with the navy stripe, but you can match up the t-shirts. Oh, they took them away, okay? To and the little stripey you one. can make them just unbelievably your own. Solid. You know what the, the truth but is? By the way, black, the black and navy solids. solids. Yeah, you gotta know that already the black and the navy are in my Hotel well, I'm room. sure they are. They, they really. That doesn't surprise me. me. Well, let because me ask you. I love the navy. I love the comfort waist on it. So we gave you tummy control, hip control, give you a very flat silhouette to the side. Same time, eight percent spandex. I invented this fabric almost eight years ago. I still own the first leggings I did in them, but those were just with the little quarter-inch tunneled elastic through it. <laughs> this actually a flat waist. serves the body and really helps reshape you. These are so cute. And then again, every single t-shirt top we've shown you throughout oh the gosh. collection works with these. Today alone, just for showing it for a few minutes, twice, we're up to 5,000 sold. We'll put and the And I want to give you a heads up. up. Last time that Diane yeah. did a print, which was so long ago in this, so everything sold out within minutes. I mean, it was completely gone. So we brought more in for this visit and made it a brand new design. But I have to tell you, I love this pink floral. And I love the blue floral. Oh, with a jean shirt. Yeah, Can you imagine how cute just a jean well, shirt would be with it? how cute this is. How about with... Oh, adorable. The cold yeah, shoulder look tees. Look how about take the pink? Yeah, it works look this. perfectly. Look how cute this is a cold shoulder tee coming up. It's just, how do you go, when you go to design a legging, because there's lots of leggings out there, what makes yours different? How do you approach it? I think the comfort waist makes it different. I think the prints make it very unique and different. I think the fact that it's built to fit that mature body. You know, half the time when I get leggings, I'm a, an extra small to a small in DG2. I have to take a larger, an extra large in a legging. They're just made for a different body type, even as a legging. I think the other thing, too, is the more mature you get, the more you add on those years, and maybe family members, too, <clears throat> the more you say to yourself, I don't want to buy something 
that's going to fall apart at the end of the season. Good point. So with a legging like this, you may have had an experience where they're very polyestery, so they're very shiny. They make your leg look extremely rounded. You may have had the experience of going and finding that after the fifth or sixth or tenth washing, they start to get all bald and, and kind of splotchy. This legging, I, I really make this promise to you, will last you a decade. It will be fresh and new. It will always have its resiliency to it. It is a beautiful long combed mm, cotton. So Even nice. with the prints on them, they are super soft. They are absolutely heaven to wear and look at the stretch and how much they hold you in. And they have a beautiful heavier weight. Not heavy weight, but a beautiful rich, rich weight to them. That These aren't the wimpy, you know the wimpy cotton ones that are just well, awful and you can almost see your legs cotton, through them? Yeah, you can see Ooh. your legs through them. Yeah. And the, also a lot of the reason why is because cotton is sky high. It's so expensive that manufacturers will actually cheat and put a lot of polyester in with it. And that's a lot of the reason why you get the bald spots. So the more cotton you have and the better it's grade fabulous. of cotton you have, the more of a lifespan it has. You know, I don't care whether you're buying something from me that's $39 or $399. It should last, it should perform, it should always fit, it should always stay in shape, and that's exactly what these do. All right, we say hi to Vicki. In Virginia, Vicki, you're on with Diane Gilman. Thank you for waiting. Hi, Vicki. Hi. I understand you've been wearing DG2 for over a year, and the number one thing you love about DG2 is the comfort level. Yes, I, um, I'm 74, and I'm a plus size, and I've always had trouble getting jeans to yep. fit or yeah, they'd be okay for a couple hours and then you'd want oh i gotta get these off they're off yeah. and i ordered a pair of yours online in a 1x i got them they fit absolutely perfect excellent and i ordered two more pair yay there you go <laughs> and so today i ordered uh the white boot cut yeah. beautiful i Great ordered choice. um the knotted shirt Oh, super cute. Super what color, what, what color cute. shirt yeah. did you get? Uh, white. Oh, please. Oh, my gosh. You can always use an extra white tee. No kidding. And you can and never find a good white yeah. tee. And ever. wait till <laughs> you <laughs> see how that drapes, how it hides the midriff, but it just camouflages it in the most graceful of ways. And you know something? You are going to absolutely, if you love DG2, you'll love it even more. What would you say to anybody out there who may believe that the quality is hampered by the price? What do you think of the quality of DG2? The quality is amazing. And the price to me is just unbelievable. Yeah, um, I think that's I, great. You know, I never thought that I would wear skinny jeans at my age. Yeah. And my granddaughters kept saying to me, you need to try a pair, Grandma. You need to try a pair. Thank you. Well, I did, and that's why. And then I bought three pair, like I said. <laughs> but, uh, and I wouldn't wear anything else now. That's great. And maybe They're you don't just, feel like so much like a grandma anymore. No, I don't. And I've had all kinds of compliments when I wear them. Isn't that great? Awesome. Yeah, yeah, we find that... Honestly, DG2 is such a mood elevator, such a boost to self-esteem, because let's face it, not easy to grow old as a female, but if you look good, you do, you feel good. That is just one of those things. Absolutely. Isn't Absolutely. Well, there's no question about that, and I still work full-time, so, and on Fridays, we wear jeans, so it's great. How I that's mean, fabulous. I'm, perfect. Yeah, we're, we're living so longer, we're working work longer. Because your jeans are amazing. Well, thank, thank you, you, Vicki, for thank joining you us. Thank you so much. Have a great evening. Thank Have you, a good you one. too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Awesome. And, you and know you, what? you made a great point, though. You say, you know what? When you're wearing a jean, you feel hip and younger, and people react differently to and you. And you interact differently yes. with them. And you're absolutely right. this proves the point. We're living longer. We're working longer. We need crossover wardrobe. Well, in the solid black and the navy... You could actually get away with wearing these with one of our Ponte blazers. You certainly are going to want to wear these when you travel. You are mm. never going to have this waist. Oh, God, I hate it 
when they roll down and roll over a couple of times, this always stays flat. It always stays up next to your skin. It's actually smoothing too. They by the way. are oh, for sure. Really smoothing it is really, around the waist. It, it's really a body shaper in yeah. its own way. It's so we like to make clothing, honestly, that's multi-purpose. Not only does it look good and make you feel good, but it is all about kind of reshaping that middle-aged body to just make it look a little sleeker, a little slimmer, a little flatter tummy in the front, a little more rounded in the back. It isn't just another pretty bottom. It's a bottom right. that has a lot of different functions for you all coming together with the fashion statement you of know, it all. What I love too is I think women more and more, even as we age, we're still out there where we're walking, you know, where's where a hey, I'm gonna really kind of try to take control of my health or I wanna get some exercise in. And it's really nice to have a really fashionable look. Like I go to bar classes or I go to a yoga class. These are adorable for that. Like how cute is that? And you know, now I live across from Central Park. So of course, you know, every weekend I'm in that park walking. I, I actually live across from the lake. It looks like I'm living in the Adirondacks. It's amazing. <laughs> Forest, wow. little mountains. It's a very rocky part of yeah. Central Park. And a lake with little mallard ducks swimming in it. Oh. Little geese, it's so fabulous. <laughs> but you can't just go out there and you know, you wanna be wearing something that's good looking. There's a lot of cute guys out there running and I'm single, so I'm still <laughs> I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> and here's a very simple way to go Perfect. where you're not breaking the bank. I don't need high performance fabric. I need a fabric exactly. I can that's depend exactly right. on that's really going to feel good. And you know those high performance leggings are 80, 90, 100 and some dollars. Yeah. And you're like, I don't, you're right. I don't need to go there. But what's neat is these could go out to the park, walking the dog, they whatever. They could go to a spinning class. To oh, totally to a yeah. spin class, yes. Yeah. And I will tell you, again, if you have a lot of leggings at home and you say, oh, they're always so wimpy and thin and they, ooh, I don't like them, try these. This elevates the whole legging game to a new level because the fabrication is so rich and so beautiful. So, so true. Great time to try it. Yeah. FYI, the florals, super crazy popular. I think we're at six, 7,000 now ordered of the leggings and love the splatter. And love the, the splatter, which I think is actually and the one that, that will is sell the most out first. Yep. Yes, yes, indeed. All right, back to stick out there. Now we're going to talk about a really cute little cold shoulder top. So it's we got to see it on because you've really got to see where that cold shoulder hits. It's adorable. So it really is a classic T-shirt. It flares out at the hem. You'll see that in no way does it grab at the midriff. And then if you can just, yep, there we go. That little bit of cold shoulder on a classic oh, super cute. tee. So we usually see cold shoulders as something a little more dramatic, but this one, honestly, 92% cotton, 8% spandex, the lighter weight version of what we put into the leggings. This is a little motor. It's, it's motor through your wardrobe. Whether you're wearing it with a jean or you're wearing it with a legging, it has a slightly rounded shirt tail hem bottom. Oh, that is so good looking when you have, look at it. Sorry, a little bit high low. High low. Mm -hmm. That little bit of curve, so elongating. And look and at the colors. And it doesn't grab around oh, your hips. The colors are fabulous. So if you wanted to wear pink. the pink look how that cute with the that paint is. splatter. That beautiful go, shade here. of pedicure coral with the paint splatter. Oh, how I cute I love that one. is that together? How about... The blue with the floral. Okay, and then look, look at the gray works the, with it too. You got gray no, in there. No, no, no. What? No, no, no. <laughs> look at this. Oh, yes, of course. Be Solid. simple. That's, now, that's cute. That's, or how about right here? Yeah, that's cute because I pick up on the gray. Super cute. That's really cute. So these are pieces where you, you know, I, I hate to say it, but these are pieces that should be at these prices. I don't understand all this casual stuff where the legging where the the legging is like $99. I don't need something. I am not running the marathon. I'm just trying to work off a few calories in my life. Stay and, active. You know, I live in a two-story apartment now, so I'm up and down, up and down, up and down the stairs all the time. Right. 
I want something with flexibility in top and bottom. I want something with eight to 10% spandex like these pieces. Also, I want something I can throw in a washer and a dryer and I know Thank you. it's gonna come out looking great. When I started really analyzing, when I was paying for dry cleaning a week, it was terrifying. Oh yeah, I used to dry clean everything. I just was so, so you know, I'll send it to the dry cleaner, but now I think to myself, you know something? Get into fabrics that don't get a snowy surface to them when you wash them. They don't shrink. They don't lose their color vibrancy. They don't lose their shape. They, they are resilient. And you'll have this little t-shirt in your wardrobe for years and years. Well, and, and the nice well, the thing about the nice thing about it now is you might wear this under a jacket, and it's just a great tee. In fact, if you wore a little jean jacket or a crop jacket and had this cute little bottom kind of hanging out, and then as we transition to the spring and summer, you've got a tee with attitude. Oh. You know, like, like who doesn't dream of living in t-shirts? Like that is the you hope you could spend every day in a tee. And the warmer it gets, the more the clothing is going to have to be multi-purpose like this yes. and simple like this. Yes. And I always say, and it really is true physically cold shoulder the shoulder is the only area of your body that you know my uh, my knees gained weight <laughs> honestly what's up with that <laughs> have, i've got fat knees now but my shoulders are still okay because it is the only part of your body that physically biologically cannot gain weight. No okay, so we yeah. show them off, show those babies off. <laughs> and I think it's sexy. I really do, I think a cold shoulder is a great look. This is a stock up price too, really. It's on sale, uh, it is brand new for us, and it is on three flex pays. And I wanna explain flex too, because you might be brand new saying, hey, how should I swing and what's that 1330 all about? That's any major credit card or PayPal, you just have to use that, and you're gonna spread your payments out over three months, but we ship it right away. And you still have our ironclad guarantee that says if you're not happy, Happy, send it back within 30 days. One thing I want to point out is the free shipping deal because this is a big, big deal. And I love talking about it. If you spend $75 or more on any combination of jewelry, fashion, or beauty today, Everything ships for free. Now, that whole system resets itself at midnight, and tomorrow, this wonderful little shipping deal we have going on comes to an end. So it literally ends tomorrow. We've been doing it now for about four or five days. So if you find some new stuff, you're like, oh man, I love the boot cut. I'm gonna pick up the le leggings we just had. Get a couple shirts. You just shirts. got free shipping. You, on that everything, on everything yeah. across the board. So That's pretty good. certainly take advantage of it, too. And don't you think, Diane, at this time of year, you kind of get an itch to add a little something new into your wardrobe? You you know, it's really strange. It it just, you get that cabin fever around <laughs> the beginning of February, oh. uh, a little bit into January, and you just think to yourself, bleh. I look pale, I look sallow, I'm sick and tired of all those holiday clothes and colors. I want something new. That's where every single one of our fabrics come in because many of the fabrics, like the tweed we're about to show you in the t-shirt, they're transitional. They're gonna work yeah. now, and they're gonna be where now, where forward, which is really thought out in my fashion brain. So yeah, yeah. it's all about wanting something refreshing in your wardrobe. Yes. This is the shirt I'm wearing, and I couldn't be more comfortable or happy to be honest That with is you. rayon spandex. Oh. That is such a lovely combination. Now, I like it with the indigo as this. well, and we gave it a classic cover stitch. But we did something else that you guys really, really love. And very simply, we call it combo garments. And what that means is we married a woven to a knit. So it's got this beautiful semi-sheer woven Georgette hem it's got all that cover stitching on it, so you can wear this with indigo, mid-tone, and we gave it a print that makes it look like a yarn-dyed tweed. It does. It's absolutely, look at the gray. to me, where function meets fashion. And I love that. I want to show you how this moves and flows. Wait, it I feels just to do like this. a very, oh yeah, Come don't on. you love this that This is the boot cut I'm wearing. Look at it with a gray. That's the rich girl look. I just love that combination. I think that's the urban girl look too. Mm. Yeah. I think that's Pretty. a way to express that transitional um, move from winter into spring. And then I love the mm. indigo. If we could just get up a little closer to this. 
I love the indigo with That's the great. chambray because we put almost a chambray top stitch on this. So we gave it a top stitch, which we call a cover stitch, special stitching that speaks to a feel of a sweatshirt body, a casual. Then we gave it a flared hem with that semi-sheer Georgette underneath. This is a really special top, but the Georgette does something else, which is it gives a weight and an importance and a presence to the top. That's Do you wonderful. not find oh. it that way? And here's the thing. Let's see it on you. Have you ever, well, let me show you too. Have you ever yeah. um, been to say um, a hotel room or someone's house or a hotel room and you're sitting in the room and you want to watch room. TV? Well, you know, you're like at the end of the day and you're sitting in the room and you're like, gosh, I just want to wear something, but I want to be comfortable, but I want to look cute you're gonna wear this. And then you'll turn around because the sleeves are so adorable. Uh, yeah, and this is your Saturday morning soccer top. You know, you can wear it with the leggings we just had. I'm wearing it with the boots. It is absolutely so soft and so comfortable. It feels like you're wearing a silk jersey. Yes. You really, yeah. if, you, if you didn't know, and you would say to yourself, this like, is a gorgeous is weight this? silk jersey knit, and that's a silk Georgette. That's how rich it looks, but it gets better because it can never wrinkle. You throw it into a washer and a dryer. The weight, and this is very important, the weight of that woven Georgette around the hem keeps the shape of the garment away from being plastered to your body. So it has a ton of movement. And tell me that isn't a so girly cute. girl effect. And how did you cut this? Because it's, well, we, oh, we have eight we seconds. We actually flared it out. There, we love we that too. We flared it out, but See? then again, you've got that. You yeah. love girls. Stay you there. You love these combinations. And you'll love what you're about to knit, see. And then you're going to come back to us. <laughs> Valentine's Day is right around the corner, and HSN.com has great deals on gifts for you and all your loved ones. Enjoy up to 20% off Valentine's treats and up to 25% off Valentine's jewelry, like this simple yet elegant heart necklace by Absolute. And take advantage of up to 20% off and five flex pay on diamond jewelry from Colors of Diamonds and more. Search Valentine's on HSN.com for more. Cooking is my life. Mmm. Cooking at home for my family is a special time. So I want everybody out there to have a great time in the kitchen while they're cooking. And the most important thing is to have the right appliances and the right pots and pans. I give it to all my chefs in the restaurant and they give me suggestions and they try them out. And so can you at home. I grew up always dreaming and wanting to create things. I see something and I see that we can make it better. One day, the light bulb just went off. Nobody has this. They're waiting for me to invent it. Next thing you know, you're on HSN and the whole world's hearing about it. It just sold out. <laughs> Very excited for oh you. HSN celebrates the dreamers, inventors, and entrepreneurs who follow their hearts, helping American dreams come true. Being here today proves anything is possible. I found it in Peru, China, Morocco, an amethyst mine in the middle of nowhere. Every day is a new adventure. We go right to the mines. You can actually show people, okay, this is how it all starts. And every rough material you get is like opening a Christmas present. You're able to sculpt it, make it into something that's really unique, very special, very limited. And I think that that's what people love. They know the history of it. She's known as the Queen of Jeans. What was the other thing that we you were now nicknamed when they did an article on you? Queen of Jeans, but there was a Doctor new one. Doctor of Denim. Doctor of Denim. That's my favorite. I love yeah. that one. And yeah. literally, she's been written up around the world for truly revolutionizing the jean industry, especially for women who's got curves and we have different and body honestly, shapes the and great sizes. thing was I just had a fabulous interview with um, the New York Times. Did you really? That's <gasps> coming out as a podcast in... Um, uh, end of April, beginning of May, and it was all about re recreating my career on HSN by part of my reinvention of my whole life 
from being young into a middle-aged woman was the invention of DG2. So that's, oh, that's neat. That's what the podcast was about. It was great. Oh, and because of that, and we're almost at 8.5 million jeans just sold here at HSN, not worldwide. She's, she's on television worldwide, yeah. but just here at HSN, it has been an evolution and a revolution for all of us. And that's why all the things you're seeing today are and always I think customer a revelation. Picks. For yes. middle-aged women that they can actually point. have a brand that respects them for aging True. as opposed to the rest of the fashion industry where it's Ignores all about them. younger 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 right they call it fast fashion what about us do you know 10,000 americans turn 50 every day how do you dress where do you go <laughs> to buy things that are really proportioned and created just for you, including these fabulous retro so embroidered good. jeans? Nowhere but HSN okay. and DG2. And that is such a great point, because look at these. All right. What store says, hey, come to my store. We understand your entire body, your shape, and what's going on as you age. And yet we're going to give you some of the hippest, coolest looking jeans you've ever owned right here. This is the only place. And we love these. When you launched these, remember we did it at midnight? We yeah. launched them together. It was a huge launch. One of the most successful TSs we have so ever many. had. And we sold almost 50,000 pairs in a single day. Now they're back today. We have four flex pays on these. And today I want you to make sure if you missed out that first chance to to get what we have so remaining. So we're going to show you, cute. I believe we have graphics of the close-ups yep. of these embroideries. So you can see each one. And we call that Japanese poppy. I call that Navajo stripe. That's beautiful climbing rose floral. There is your place floral. And the black on black, I believe, is completely sold out. So between each one of these jeans, each individual jean has 100,000 plus. Mm stitches. Each one of these jeans has actually satin stitch embroidery, which can never unravel. But imagine 100,000 stitches of beautiful, lustrous rayon and cotton and dimensional. thread. Just dimensional. This one is cotton thread. It looks, that's what makes it's it look vintage. so dimensional. Look how vintage this uh, is. Yeah. Aren't they? You know what? They just, they, they are honestly a throwback to a different time in the industry when you got much more artistry, when mm -hmm. manufacturers weren't counting every nano penny and they said, you know what? Let's put an extra 20,000 stitches into this. We weren't even counting stitches. We just did it for the art of doing was it. Was it for the passion of just creating something unique? For me unique? it was. And for me it was also becoming, coming out of high school and in the mid-60s. And it was that whole revolution of freedom and artistry. And, you know, we Expression, thought we right? could, as baby boomers, you know how it was. We thought we could conquer the world. We had absolutely no fear. We are a very unique generation. And this speaks right back to that. And we'll show these to you in close-ups, actually in person, because they are, I'm so proud to be able to show them. They are so beautiful. And they do remind me of the 60s and the 70s because they've got that hand rubbing on them. They've got that vintage look. So when you see the close-up, you'll start to see how gorgeously these have been done, how beautifully they've been handled. And if I ask for the close-up one more time, <laughs> I'm just going to run up to the camera so you can see them close-up. There you go. Thank you very much. So look at how we still put the whiskering in. Look at all the shades of these. And my recommendation is if you have a favorite blazer, try putting an embroidered jean underneath. So, so this cute. goes up on the pocket and then down on the leg so that you get that mile long leg effect. Here, you're getting that Navajo graphic stripe, that tuxedo stripe running all the way down in shades of chambray to mid-tone. That is, if you're a more tailored woman, if you like a quieter, Look, if you do want to wear this with tailored clothes, absolutely perfect. That yes, I, is I done with cotton so thread, great. and that is that looks like almost like a cruel embroidery. Look it looks, you know what it looks look, like? You found it in a vintage clothing thing. shop. Yeah. That's what this looks like, a vintage clothing store. And what oh. we love about it is you actually have to assemble the jean, and then 
embroider it because there's a side seam. Now, she goes you'll down see a the lot of seam. jeans at this price that are embellished, and they're all to the front because the easy thing to do is just cut the jean leg, send it to the embroidery factory, but to have to go to the sewing factory, sew up the jean and then go to the embroidery factory and make it what it is, that is very, Check this very one. unique. I love the white. I love the off-white. And this it is really a gorgeous here, ivory. But look what happens when you turn around, it finishes down by your calf. How cool is and that? And then you've got it up at the top of the thigh on the other jeans. leg. Now, you still have stretch in these. So we got the oh, famous stretch. for well, sure. I just want to make sure if someone was new and they're liking, thinking, oh, those are vintagey looking. Are they hard and stiff no, and rough? No, these <laughs> are approximately 11 ounce, 11 and a half ounce denim. What we grew up with was about 15, 16 ounces with no stretch. Very mm. stretchy. Yeah, well, we enjoyed wearing these. I mean, loved we, we loved them. So we much said fun. so soft, so stretchy. And, and honestly, it was a pleasure to wear these. So you're getting so much stretch out of this waist and through the hip area that you're not going to worry at all about ever having muffin spill or any kind of discomfort through the waistband. Petite average tall, 2 through 24 sizing. Um, where's and embroidery Aline going? Silhouette. Where's embroidery going? Where's the story for embroidery? Is it we're going to see it for a while? I've seen a ton of it. it. Hasn't I've seen even butterflies begun. and okay. flowers. Yeah, and you've seen it. Uh, those butterflies and flowers. Uh, High end. Uh huh. Gucci, mm -hmm. Valentino, Moschino, Dolce and Gambana. I'm naming all the hot Italian brands and saying that I just saw. Um, I was in Gucci, and they had a whole. Oh my God! It looked like a museum of fabulous fashion, but it was a series of jean jackets, super embroidered with the same kind of satin stitch as this. $4,800 for a jean jacket. And you wanted it. <laughs> and you, you felt it. terrible you couldn't <laughs> have it. And then I was on the escalator and a girl, I was going up and a girl was going down and she had one of those jackets on and I thought, what is she, 18 or 19? I mean, this is completely unfair. If I saved up for my entire lifetime, I couldn't or wouldn't. So these are honestly just the beginning of a whole trend of embellishment. And I would say high-spirited, cheerful, yeah. ele mood-elevated clothing. Right, yes. Just beginning. So we're going to see a lot Next, you'll see more. it on us from in maybe beautifully embroidered jean jackets, maybe beautifully hand-painted jean jackets, mm -hmm. maybe a lot of hand-painted jeans, maybe bejeweled jeans. I mean, this is just the beginning of it. And yet, they're so crafty in the way they were done, where they go over the seam, where they, they're just so well done that, honestly, you'll begin a collection. We had not done an embellished right. today special a, a, a an embroidery for a decade for it's been yeah. it was yeah it was a, a decade. decade 10 years in fact i still have some of the original embellished jeans you've done and i swear i'm going to bring them in i should post them you know i'll do i'll post them on facebook you know what because yeah. i still have a couple pairs of them and they're awesome and it's so much fun because it's like wow it's back but what i find compared to what you did a decade ago i find this to be a little bit more understated i find it to be really irresistible and inviting does because that make you, sense you know, you know what i i think because i see a whole trend of wearing um very tailored. My my favorite outfit, and if you ever see pictures of me around New York, and I'm terrible at taking selfies, so I'm sorry, but if you ever see me around New York, you will see me in a jean, some sort of really easy layering piece, and a very tailored, precise blazer. Well, I wear a blazer with these all the time, and it takes the, it just kicks the whole outfit mm -hmm. up a notch. So one thing I think that Suzanne is making the perfect point, this is not about, yeah, you can dress these up, but this is about everyday life. Mm -hmm. You could wear these jeans with a little ballet flat, one of our simple t-shirts, like that knotted t-shirt. You'd done. be great. How cute would that You're be? You're done. Yeah. I wear with a turtleneck in the wintertime, a pair of boots tucked up and underneath the leg opening, and a, and a very simple blazer so I don't put any embellishment on top. And I just wear the jeans. And every time I do it, 
people just it's compliment after compliment rolling in. You know so. why? Because it's unexpected. It's and, yeah. I'll and I'll tell you, I gotta get my soapbox for one minute if you don't mind. I was out and about <laughs> the other I day. What if I do mind? Well, okay. Oh, well, okay. I'm gonna do. I guess I'll do it anyway. <laughs> well, it's it live won't TV, matter, yeah, right? It's live TV. Okay. But you know, I think it's to your point though. It actually is. It's, it's relevant. Um, I was out the other day and I was actually wearing. I had on your jeans and I really had put on a, what I would consider a cute outfit. And I had to do a bunch of errands. I'm scooting around all day long. I'm doing errands, and I started to notice what the other women were wearing. And I really looked around, and you know what I noticed? That women really almost didn't care enough about themselves to actually put something good on, or something kind of cute on. Well, they wait, just can't find, find it. it. That could have been that true. That is much that's, more that's to the point. That's probably true. But you know, yeah. I, guess, I guess that is very true, because where would you find cute jeans you'd want to wear running errands, right? And, but what I found was I thought, you know what? We've got one spin at this thing called life. And no matter what age we are, I think every day is so precious. I so do too. to be able to wear something like this that makes you feel special, and then you feel more special because people go, okay, those are the coolest jeans I've ever seen. When you have a 20 something, stop and admire your clothing. Yeah. You just want to fall over. Yeah. You're just like, wait a minute. I actually had a girl, a young girl, stop and say, where did you get those jeans? Like, are you kidding me? You know? And and I'll just tell you what, it's like embrace what Diane has done. She changes attitudes. It's funny, and this sounds dramatic, but it's true. She changes lives. Diane has changed people's lives. But you know why? Because they, they did a psychological survey, and they said, on a graph, here's how it goes. The younger you are, the higher your self-esteem is, because it's based on looks. As you gain an age, you lose your sense of self-esteem and your image because they feel that women are judged on their beauty. So imagine when you need the most help mm. and you really, really, really need the great look, great clothes, great makeup, great, no one makes it for you. Mm. In my industry, no one cares but ev about us, but everybody asks me the same question. Why are you designing for old chicks? And why do you think they're gonna wear jeans? That, hey listen, I'm proud of the generation I'm from. We rock the world as baby boomers and 10,000 of you come into the fold, which where baby boomers start at 50, 10,000 every day of the week in America. You are working longer, we are living longer, we need to look better longer and we have many less tools to do it, and DG2 is one of the only brands that's dedicated to my generation and everyone that comes into the fold. You know, the jean like this, I just wouldn't expect it for my age, and that makes it even more precious yes. to yeah. me. Completely. And then the Completely. artistry we put into it, the way we did those embroideries over the side mm -hmm. seam, that again, at this price point, Completely unheard of. Unheard of. Unexpected. And, and just so you'll know, too, I, if they put a one in front of these jeans for the fit, the way, how comfortable they are, the stretch, that cute, cute look of the embroidery, you'd still be going for it because it fits your body. It's hip. It's fun. It's youthful. And really, what a great opportunity today to really revive that wardrobe. If you are kind of slumping around and saying, gosh, you were happy. I've been forgotten. I can't find anything or that fits you're decent. saying something that we hear a lot of customers say, which is, you know what? I got a closet full of DG2, but you don't have these. <laughs> that is you true. You don't have a fabulous pair of That's embroidered so DG2s. And if you want to look like you just shopped in that great store that starts with a G and ends with an I, has two C's in the middle and a U, <laughs> guess what? Here's the jean to do it, it in. It really and is. You'll look, look like that. Look, look at, this, at combo. this together. Now, I love oh my gosh. that navy blazer. With That's that your look. That so, is your look. That, you know why it's my look? Because it's a fail-safe look. Because I think past a certain age, and if you're still as busy as I am and you're still in career mode, you need pieces that will never fail you, that will never wrinkle, that don't need to go to a dry cleaner necessarily, that you can wear five, six, seven, eight times in a row, and they're always going to look perfect, and will work with any bottom, yeah, and this, 
That's is totally I mean, come on. so me. And with our flex pay, is it, are you like, eh, I don't really know. You, oh my gosh. You know. This Trust is such me. a sharp outfit. Um, I just want to mention this has four. I think on our last jean we had three. Um, this though, I will say, I believe is not only my all-time favorite, but I think it's the best jacket you've ever created. You know, it, it all has to come back to the fact that it all has to come back uh, in a way to my own personal experience. So um, wherever I go in the world, whether it's Paris or it's the Isle of Capri or it's Milan or you name it, I will always prefer to buy a man's blazer to a woman's blazer. Would you get it tailored? Here's why. The only thing I don't like better is the sleeves are usually a little too big in the upper arm. But the real truth is, men's blazers are made in very specific men's factories. Then they have factories dedicated to nothing but blazers. So when you get to the lapel area on a cheaper blazer or a blazer made in just a regular factory, you'll see a lot of rippling through here, a lot of rippling through the curve of the lapel you'll see that the front of the garment, if we can do a full length shot, is okay, but it kind of loses its shape. The shoulder pad isn't sitting correctly, but you go to a band's blazer, and you know it from getting your husband's blazers tailored. They're pristine, they're fully That's lined true. in the front. Yeah. The lapels are perfect. The shoulder pad comes out just at 5 eighths of an inch, which gives you broader shoulder, therefore narrow waist and hips. So we went to Men's Blazer Factory to make this blazer, really? and that's why you love it. Is that why it turned out so classic? Yeah. This, this to me is so, and it's stretchy, stretch interior and to it. And the stretch interior love is that. the only thing that, that isn't men's wear. It has 18% spandex in it. So you move, you flex, you can live in these. You know what? I would Great love colors. to go to California. Allison bought two of the embroidered jeans, and she loves them. Hello, Miss Allison. You're on with Diane Gilman. Hi. Welcome. Hi, Diane. Hi, Wow, hi. I can't believe I'm talking to you. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much for calling. Which two embroidered uh, jeans did you buy, Allison? I bought the chambray ones and the black ones. Oh, that's oh great. we're gonna show the black, but those very sold limited out <laughs> by really by one AM. And, yeah, uh, and I, I have see to say, one on the air all the time and I actually have a bit of a jean fetish. Uh, me too. And, but I never bought your jeans actually because a lot of times you're talking about the curvy girl and I'm actually I'm short and I'm very, very short waisted and I don't have like a lot of hips or anything. Me but either. When I saw the embroidery, I was like, okay, I have to have those. Yeah. And so I bought the two, and I love them. So I thought I would call in because I said to myself, I'm actually going to do a testimonial for that because for anybody like me who might be watching who would think you have to be really curvy to wear them, you no. actually don't. They, they're beautiful. I love them. And what did you think of the quality of the embroidery? I love it. It's actually yeah. really good. And it's a lot of embroidery. It's not just a little bit. It's exactly. Just, I know it's really pricey when you get into the embroidery. Yeah. And so you, what did you think? That it was an amazing price for a oh, lot yeah. of workmanship. I'm wearing the black right now, actually. Oh, funny. That's I awesome. I saw you come up that's... and I said, okay, well, I'm wearing them, so I'm going to call. <laughs> that's great. That is sensational. And I love the quality of denim we used for it, too, Allison. It had a lot of stretch to it and forgiveness. Yeah, I actually have lost some weight, and I'm still losing, so I was able to go a size down, and I know as I keep losing, I can still wear them. That's great. I like and a lot, because I have a jean fetish, I'll buy jeans in different sizes, and I can't wear them yet, so it's nice that I can wear these now, and I know as I keep losing, I can wear them, so. Great, great. <laughs> and, and how do you wear, and where do you wear your embroidered jeans? Do you wear them for dress-up? Do you wear them for every day? How do you wear them? Yeah, pretty much all the time. I mean, yeah. I just went out to brunch. I wore them to brunch, or right. I think I wore them on Christmas Eve as well. I got so lots of nice. compliments. And because I, like, still have some weight to lose, I tend to wear more blousier tops. And what I liked about the chambray ones is even the embroidery that's close to the top, you can still see it with a bigger top, too. Exactly. Exactly. Well, that is a great call. Let me ask you. I'm a SoCal girl. I was born in L.A. Where are you in California? I'm in Orange County, but I'm still kind of new to this school, area. So. In Whittier, in Orange County, Whittier High. Oh, I, it's I amazing! I can still like remember it. It was so oh, long ago. Oh, she just ago. moved there two years ago. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> well, enjoy that Southern California weather in your DG2 jeans. It was so nice to Thank meet you. Thank you, Allison. Nice talking to you, Nice too. talking to you as Thank well. You. Thank you. And you know what? We should make that point. And really, we got to remember that in the future. So, Allison, thanks for bringing it up. It doesn't matter what body size you are. When I've said it doesn't matter your body shape or size, yeah. it does not matter. So if you are more straight, if you say I don't have a lot of curves, that's okay too. I mean, this is, this is what do you always say? Your genes are not equal opportunity, but what's the word you, egalitarian? Yeah, totally. So, yeah. Because I'm shaped more like Allison. I'm not curvy, I'm round, but I'm straight and they fit me. You're a little more curvy, curvy. they fit it's you. Fine. It's all in the way you balance the jeans out. And then again, maybe many of you find it very difficult to wear a blazer. I do because most of the blazers are made for much younger girls and the bust is like somewhere way above your armpit. I don't even think I was that way when I was 20 years old. And you know what Natalie just did too? Natalie, do that again with your arms. This is my beef. It's across my back. Oh, I play, I, it drives me, no sure. blazers ever fit my back. Yeah, and so they're me crazy. so tight. Oh, and you can't even get your arms up to like drive the car. Yeah. Isn't that the worst? All the girls are laughing like, yeah, even our skinny girls are going, yeah, we have the same problem. But you know, that's what you'll find with this because there's complete stretch, but it is such an elegant blazer. And I'll tell you, now that we have it on sale and we've got the four flex pays, yeah. we've got the chocolate, the wine's limited. I've got the espresso, the black, the gray is gorgeous. Definitely think about this with flex. We have more with Diane. Gorgeous here's Adam together. With the Monday night show. You never know what we're going to do on the Monday Night Show. But here's a sneak peek. There'll be more than a few surprises. Quick look at what's going on right now. Watch out for that seagull. <laughs> and weekly guest challenges. Not on yet. Keep going, Leah. Keep going. But don't forget about the great products. Tune in 7 p.m. on Monday or visit hsn.com and search Monday Night Show for more. At HSN, we're celebrating a better you. Because healthy is more than just eating right. It's finding balance and treating yourself to a life well lived. Find your Zenspiration. From a healthy mind to a healthy home, it's time to feel good inside and out. Because we believe healthy is happy. Live well and be happy with the health and wellness experts at HSN. Lancome Paris, Saturday on HSN. Yeah. We're talking puppies. Oh, She's got kitties. Are. She has uh, kitties. I have the puppies. cutest kitties. Well, what we do you call your cats? We did the Mr. Fuzzy sweater. Mr. Fuzzy. Mr. Fuzzy is and a great big fuzzy thing. Huge cat. <laughs> Must be about three feet long from, from tail to it's tip. More of a of, tiger. <laughs> yeah, more, more of you. a fluffy bunny. And then the other one is Princess Irina. She is a Russian blue, and they are best buds. Best That's buds. So, cute. so if you ask me who the boss in the house is. It's a feline baby. And the reason she was asking me on my Facebook it's page, you'll see baby. me in a pair of her jeggings yeah. with my dog in my arm. And she's like, oh, your puppy's so cute. All right, so here we go. If you've been hanging with us or maybe you're channel surfing and waiting and waiting and waiting, this is one of the best buys you're going to see for the entire visit and from maybe Diane. if you love the They're idea so of leather and suede leggings, but you would no. never pay the price, and especially in the suede, it can't even be a moist day out and you're afraid you're going to wreck them. I can't fit we in this way. We have the best faux suede, and this is a, just a little bit of what's left mm. at 20 is that really true? $29.95 down from $59. Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. And two flex space, too. It's Let's do jagged. colors real quick. You pull it on. 
uh, we have black navy. These are the easy ones, real quick, black and navy, because I don't want you to miss out. I know Diane's gonna tell you all about it. And so the other great. two colors are gonna be the camel, and I have the khaki, which I am completely gaga. Aren't they beautiful? All I'm saying, That's denim like shirt. That's like equestrian beige, uh, and with a denim, denim shirt, shirt, you're so right. With, with um, tall boots, I yeah. can't even stand how cute this is. So anyway, yeah. they're on sale for the very last time with the size-wise, we go extra small And they're small on sale for X. the first time and the last time. First and last. At this price. Yeah. Okay. Never before. But we know that you get fashion fatigue at this time of year. We know you want something new, but you want something wearing out. Well, they're very lightweight. They are equivalent of a suede knit, if that makes sense. If we can get up close, I want to show you how authentic they look. They even have what looks like the cut nap from real suede. And then we do it in that jegging, so you really do get the shaping to it. You get the elasticized waist, but these are lightweight enough and they look so beautiful cute. with suede and leather boots. I've worn them with really good suede over the knee boots and nobody oh, says, why are you wearing those with a great boot? They just say, oh my gosh, what a gorgeous outfit. Do but they I love them with they're like, leather Do they ever give you that kind of sideways glance? Like, how's she wearing suede? Or, like, that's what I think most people would think. Like, I wish I could wear suede. How much did that cost? Or, oh, yeah, 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 in New York, because for sure. Because you see that all the time with leather and suede leggings that are for real. They're now up to around $1,000. These, you throw in a washer and a dryer. At $29, and worst case, add some texture to your wardrobe. These look beautiful with gabardine. They look gorgeous with denim. They look beautiful with tencel. These are honestly, have a beautiful kind of like Western appeal to them. Mm -hmm. And you're set to go. And you know what? Unlike suede, where if you spill something on it, it may be the first and last time you wear it here, you throw it in a washer and a dryer, and you're set all over again. Well, demonstrate the amount of stretch these have to them. Here's the one legging where I honestly say, I fluctuate between an extra small and a small. I would say go, go to that larger part of the size fence you sit on, because I like them to just have a little breathing room between the body and the garment. Do you think that makes it look more authentic? I do, yeah. exactly. So you're saying go up. Yeah. I'm saying uh, sometimes I wear a small or an extra small. Go In small. one of our cotton spandex leggings, I'll go for the extra small. Here, I like it. I think more authentic look to the suede is to have it a little more relaxed on the body. But it's you've got idea. that elastic waist. You've got that spandex within the fabric itself. You've got the beautiful shaping to it. You've got that easy legging quality of just pulling it on. I think this color, the camel, and, I that, love the khaki. and that khaki really, really, really look authentic. I think if you want to turn around and say to yourself, this is a beautiful equivalent to wearing denim, indigo denim, because it's a beautiful dark navy. This would look great with a jean jacket, would look great with a tensel jean shirt. We have an embroidered jean shirt actually online it would look terrific with. Here's another great way to go with it. And then, of course, the black. So you've got all of you. I know we have a pair of black leather boots that are knee high, another pair that are over the knee, how, and ankle boots. Look how cute that so looks cute. with the oh, shoe. I love knee. these. I think and at $29.90. Really well, functional. You made such a great point, too. At the full price, you might have said, yeah, maybe not. But on sale at $29.90 and two flex. And by the way, three flex, if you use your HSN card, everything from Diane's on, uh, we'll get an extra flex just by using the card today. Fantastic. I know how awesome is that? So I love this because now you can experiment. As you always say, try a little texture in your wardrobe. Add you a know, little texture. Sometimes I'm not real big on print, but te and that's why I've done so many tops this season, like the top you have on where it looks more like a texture, but it is a print. Mm -hmm. But there's nothing like suede or leather. Leather can sometimes tend to be a little shiny. I'm not always so sure about that, but this is a beautiful velvety matte finish. It really, really, really it does look like real suede, but look at how like lightweight it is. That's the other thing about it that's so great. It's not bulky. It's not boardy. And you know, it's just beginning to get cold in New York, kind of scary. But I'm thinking February, 
March, April, cool May evenings. Mm -hmm. The, and this, it's very Ralph Lauren-ish to me. Oh, totally. Isn't and, it? And then when you get to the fall and yeah. you pull them out and you've got the chunky gray sweater and you wear it with it, or you have a black yeah. turtleneck. And you know, all his all his windows on Madison Avenue and 72nd Street right now are all his pieces of suede. Oh, are they So it's, yeah, oh, so cool. it's, it's and they're all in these two colors. Well, let me ask you actually. a question. Have you ever seen a girl in New York walk down the street towards you? She's young, she's beautiful, she's gorgeous, she's got, you know, a size of a peanut or whatever, yeah. and she's wearing suede pants. And does that just not a showstopper? It You're just, just like, oh. you know, it just screams class and yeah, money. Just it really does. Yeah. But this is the easy way to wear it. This is to me, um, and we never intended to ever bring it out at this price, but honestly, it is just that little bit of quantity left from a big major purchase. I love the fact that you throw it in a washer and a dryer. And mm -hmm. look at how authentic it looks. You can even see the texture from a distance, and it looks like really true suede. Well, it's like you've got the brush marks that you uh, would in a, in a really great suede. Light, honestly, feel the weight of it. But lightweight explain, enough to wear now and wear future. Explain how light the most expensive suede in the world actually is. Well, it's split. It's this it's, it's kind like this. of weight. It's, and and yeah. it usually is called buckskin. Yeah. And that, for the designer we just mentioned, is what he works in. <coughs> so you can never be too rich or too thin, that old saying. You can never have your buckskin thin enough. That and, and how they split the hides just goes, price level just goes up and up and up. So we found a faux suede that really had the right hand, the right surface appeal to it. To the inside, it feels like velvet. It's not it's some like totally like poly Man thing. Made, you know, like shiny, shiny hot. Uh, it's not feel hot. To it. it really <laughs> looks right inside. Now, I was just telling Suzanne, I put on a pair of faux leather leggings. I was trying some on, and immediately your thighs start sweating. Not pretty <laughs> at all. I like that funny thing in that movie where he puts talcum powder <laughs> all over his thighs to get the leather to jeans the on. No, no, no talcum powder. No, not necessary. <laughs> but this just becomes a great accompaniment for your wardrobe. And my favorite way to wear it would be a denim jacket, a simple t-shirt, a simple turtleneck. Or your denim these. shirts. Can you, how cute. Yeah, how With cute just a denim shirt hanging over this yeah. and a great boot. Like yeah. that embroidered shirt in denim that we did. Yeah, it's just so great. So this is a very cool way to wear it. The other cool way to wear it, where I might actually step in and wear it that way, would be turtleneck sweater, mm -hmm. This legging, I would turn around and put a knee-high boot with it in leather, probably in a natural tone if I was going to wear the camel or the, the beige, the khaki. And then I would put it with a gabardine blazer. Again, this oh, would great. become a work outfit That's for great. me because right. the silhouette is so precise. It's so easy. You just slip it on like a legging, but it has all the details of a jean, like a jegging. And you are set to go. You know, that's one thing I want always. I want no muss, no fuss. I want simple pieces that scream, I'm a rich girl. And I want to put it together and walk out that door and boom, my work is done. I don't have to futz in a mirror all day long. People understand it who see you. They admire it. And you know what? This is also the kind of fabric that sort of glides over every lump and bump. So whether you're a 3X or your size extra small, we got you covered on this one. And petite Good average tall. So we still have petite too. average tall in the length. And again, that can be very fresh. You're a tall girl, you're like, I'd love to wear a, a suede looking but pant. But now it's a crop. Can't find it. Pant. Right now, yeah, yeah it ends no, up being a crop. Not so. And then you say, well, I'm a petite gal, and well, I'd love to do that. But this is the this is the perfect alternative. And it, the reason I think today is more important than all, but number one, when these are gone, they're gone. I mean, obviously, it's the end of our season. We're bringing in lots of great things for spring and summer from Diane. So when these are sold out, you're not getting another chance at 20 and some change. Will she do them again? Yes, probably in a different version. They'll be almost $70 when she comes back. Yeah. Obviously, Which in the fall I think to is perfectly them. fair. Yes. And you know something, the other deal too to me is who wants to take this stuff if it's real to one of those cleaners? Gosh, I gave something that it, it was like some stupid cashmere scarf that had this kind of, you know, leather 
edging to it and a uh, fringe. I gave it out to the cleaners. They then they had to give it to the specialized leather and suede cleaners. I got it back 60 days later and the season Did you spend is over a fortune? With, right? you got to wear it twice. Did you spend twice. a fortune to get yeah. it clean that way? Not only a fortune, <laughs> but they kind of messed it up along the way. Oh, no. Here, under your control. In washer, the washer. Dryer, your Boom. work is done. <laughs> and you can pull it out an hour later and be set to wear it again. But these are, I think, the pieces I live for. Because I understand them, I know they're going to fit me. They're totally wearable. They work with my footwear, but they really up the ante on how my wardrobe looks. All right, so Miss DG, she will be here tomorrow, yes? You've got At a couple shows. 6 a.m., I for hear. For those of you who wake I might up. just get up to see you up at 6 a.m. Why don't you just come into the studio and yeah, be with no, me? No, don't tell me to do that. <laughs> And then she's here throughout the day. Thank you, love. Thanks love for being it. with love us. All right, stay with right you. there. Thanks love for being with us. Love all of you. See you tomorrow. Coming up next, our today's special. It's time to upgrade that old computer. We've got the perfect solution.